This is it. Yeah, it's not much, but at least you don't have to share it with anyone. This is my room? Yep. Cool. You know, Rex, we could stop by the market and get you some stuff to decorate your room with. I'm broke. Gwen and I can help pay for some stuff. We're broke too, so don't expect much. Hmm. Okay, sure. Sweet. Let me go get my things. Be right back. My very own chair. I'm truly living a life of luxury. Um. Yeah! Was it something I said? My very own view. With my very own chair. And my very own table. And my very own desk. And my very own other chair. And my very own bed. Hmm? Oh, silver! Well, I see you're not too busy. Have any time to spare for a small chat? I've nothing if not time. Excellent. Here, have a seat. I'll try not to bother you for too long. How have you been settling in? <sighs> Good! Finn and Gwen have been helping me move in, and Aubrey gave me a tour of the place. Luca gave me a book about how to read. I have since learned that I cannot read. And Deacon asked me if I could loan him ten gold. I told him I didn't have any. He said I could just pay him back with interest. I have no idea what that means. And I don't know anything about Hazel, other than she's really good at running. And screaming. I'm jealous. <laughs> it sounds like you're fitting in just fine then. But I didn't come here just for a check-in. I believe you wanted something from me. Oh. Uh. Yeah, I had questions. Ask away then, Rex. You've earned some answers. How did you know where I was? Ah, uh, you must mean how I knew where to send Finn and Gwen. Well, the answer may underwhelm you. Those ruins, like the ones we found you in, have been appearing ever since the abyss resurfaced. However, these ruins don't contain treasure. Instead, they contain people. Specifically, they contain people with black and white hair, Silver eyes, and no Eidolon of their own. We call these people... Shades. So that means... Yes, Rex. You are a Shade. I knew there would be a Shade in those ruins, but I knew not of who you were. I apologize for any confusion. Then... Do you know who I am? I unfortunately do not. 
I'm not entirely sure what circumstances placed you in those ruins. Nor do you, as evident by your lack of memory. The existence of Shades remains one of the greatest mysteries scholars of Iridia have yet to unravel. I'm certain in due time you will find an answer. But I'm afraid I won't be the one to give it to you. Hmm. Then... What do I do now? Now? You're part of a guild, my boy! Take some time to make yourself at home, and once you're ready, undertake some jobs. We exist to help those who can't help themselves, and to make this world a better place. To do that, we take money in exchange for our services. Money! <laughs> uh, that was a selling point for Deacon as well. Regardless of the reason, everyone here is working towards the same outcome. You won't find more like-minded individuals elsewhere. Well, I won't keep you. I believe I've taken up enough of your time. I'll let you get back to whatever you were planning for the day. But before I leave, I will leave you with one empirical truth. Never be ashamed of who or what you are. There are countless shades across the country just like you. Lost, confused, and seeking answers. If they could survive Rex, so can you. <sighs> be sure to make this day a good one. I'll see you again at dinner. Okay. Bye, Silver. Shades. I am a shade. And there are other people like me. Hmm. I wonder if I'll get to meet one. I hope they're nice. And funny. And strong. And good looking! Potions for sale! Potions for sale! Swords and axes! Get your swords and axes here! You won't find better Eidos tomes anywhere else! Is it like this every day? Most of the time. Cloudreach is a massive city. I can't remember a time when it wasn't this busy. Oh, so shiny! See anything you like, young man? Yeah, everything! Ah! Watch where you put those eyes, Rex. You're on a budget. A very small one. We're not paying for you to get opulent. Oh, man. Look around, Rex. This day is for you. What else catches your interest? Hmm. Food! <laughs> he wants to decorate his room with food? This is going to be a long day. Something. Yes! Finally, my other me! Together we shall! This sucks! Uh, huh? Seriously? There's another shade in this city? Ugh. And they just have to be a clumsy oaf? Watch where you're going next time, you copycat! Look at the mess you made! Copycat? You're the one that looks like me! <laughs> You're obviously the one trying to copy me. Look, that's my black and white and my silver eyes! I'm a shade. It has nothing to do with you! It has everything to do with me. You're trying to ride on the coattails of the illustrious Rose's image. I'd be flattered, if you weren't so pathetic. Hey, what's going on over here? Watching from afar got boring. You two about to fight? Those insignias! Ugh! I should have known! Of course the Silver Goons are the ones to mess everything up! Silver Goons? We didn't even do anything! Rex bumping into you was an accident! Oh, I see. You must be from Gold Star, huh? Gold Star? 
Only the wealthiest guild in all of Cloudreach. You losers wouldn't know what that's like, with Silver Moon sucking so much. That's so... mean! What did we ever do to you? Made me drop all my money, for one. That bag was full of pensions from all the merchants in this square. If even a single coin is unaccounted for, then you will be responsible for stealing from Goldstar. Oh, you're a tax collector. Ugh, I'm so much more than that, Knuckle Walker! I hate your stupid guild. A bunch of worthless idiots posing as a member of Viridia's elite. You'll never amount to anything. And you give those of us who actually know what we're doing a bad name. Rose picks the bag of coins up off the street. If you know what's good for you, you'll stay out of my way from now on. I don't need a parasite like you damaging my image. Now that I think about it, your guild's maintenance fees are due soon, aren't they? Oh, I'm so hoping you can't afford them this time either. Then I'll finally be able to wipe your crap guild off the face of this city. Later, losers. That... was something. I hate her. I'm me at her. I can win. Me too. I want to set her on fire. No, no, no! Remember, an eye for an eye and all of that. We're bigger people. She's a jerk. Maybe she was having a bad day. Or she's extra cranky because she didn't get enough sleep last night. Let's just cut her some slack and put that behind us. Come on, let's keep looking around. <sighs> huh? Hey, Rex. The junk you found is cool and all, but I've got an idea of something you should get. Hmm? Are... you sure... Rex needs more stuff? How about a sword? There's a weapon stall right there. It seems a bit silly to be in a guild but not have a weapon. Hmm. Nah. I can make my own sword. Two swords seems excessive. If you don't mind me asking, why didn't you make one during my test? Uh. I totally forgot. Shay has me on a leash. On second thought, another sword sounds like a great idea. Over here then. Follow me. Okay. Ooh, another sword. Oh, I hope it's a big one. I like the big swords. They're like really heavy and they hit hard. Look at all the people. This city's really pretty. Hmm? Wait, I think I recognize those two. I don't see why both don't get hammers. We could be the hammer bros. What are you gonna do with a hammer, dummy? Hit nails? We need huge battle axes. That'll do some actual damage. No, dude. They're sharp on both ends. How are you gonna avoid cutting yourself? We're padding. Duh. No, we need hammers. We should crush things. No, axes. We should cut things. Hammers. Axes. Hammers! Axes! Rex! Ah! What do you think you're doing? Stinking up on us like that? Huh? Yeah. You looking to start something, tough guy? We could ask you the same thing. What are you doing here? We're, uh, doing, uh, none of your business. Yeah, none of your business. A couple of thieves in a marketplace? I can only think of a few ways this could go. You two aren't up to no good, are you? No. Yeah, uh, no. Where's the third one? I remember there being three of them. You're right, Rex. Where's your leader? Sable. Uh, ah, Sable? Who's Sable? We have no idea who this Sable is. Yeah, we only know boss. Zip it, stupid! How about you tell us what your boss is up to? 
Uh, hey, Gideon, I think I see a distraction over there. You seriously think I'm stupid enough to fall for- Run, Jackson! Run! And there they go. Should we give chase? They're not worth the effort. I do wonder what that third one could be scheming. They're definitely up to something. But today's about Rex! Surely whatever they're doing can't be that bad. Rex, you said you wanted a sword, right? You see one you like? Oh, right! Uh... Uh... <gasps> oh, that one! Give me the sword! Ah, uh, do you mean this one right here? You have a good eye, young man. You won't find a more trustworthy blade anywhere else. You're right. Watch it! Do you really want to bite the hand that feeds you? Here you are, sir. That'll run you about ten gold. Uh, 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 Finn, help! I've got it, I've got it. Here, this should cover it. Thank you kindly, sirs. I hope that blade guards you well in your endeavors. Oh, that's strange. Huh? I could have sworn I made more money than this. Ah, uh, well, it must be a slow market today. You all take care. Let's keep going. You don't seem like you're done window shopping yet. Nope! Figures. I'm a member of the wealthiest guild in all of Cloudreach. You losers wouldn't know what that's like, with Silver Moon sucking so much. Hey, Finn. Gwen. Tell me about guilds. Huh? What do you mean? You're in one, dummy. I mean, why are there so many? Viridia wouldn't exist without them. What? It's a bit early in the day for a history lesson, but it might help you to know how things work around here. Listen carefully, Rex. A long, long time ago, this land was the theater for a war against the Abyss. It was a bloody and difficult war, with countless losses on both sides. When the dust settled, Arcadia was left with a land full of fortresses and soldiers. And instead of going home, they stayed in that land. They called it Viridia. <sighs> but these ancient guys, all they knew was life as warriors. They didn't know how to run things outside of rank and file. So, they formed their society to follow the same structures as their armies. They created the Holons, five massive overarching sections of government that oversee the different functions of society. There's Stellari, the Holon of War. Fortuna, the Holon of Coin. Arcanum, the Holon of Magic. Opirium, the Holon of Artifice. And Obscura. The whole line of shadows. And it's under those holons that society functions. Every guild aligns itself with one of the holons depending on their role in society. Guilds are responsible for everything, like running cities, markets, militaries, and every other important aspect of society. That's why there are so many guilds. The country couldn't stand without them. Mm hmm. That guild that Chick is a part of. Gold Star. It must be under the hole on Fortuna, right? Yup. So which one does Silvermoon follow? Uh huh. Oh boy, so much to do. Not enough time in the day to do it. Come on, guys, let's go look at more junk. Yeah. Uh. Ugh. I could have sworn I saw. Uh. 
<laughs> Sucker. <laughs> that doesn't belong to... You'll never take me alive, Silvermoon! You didn't let me finish my line! <laughs> what? I can't do... T uh, stairs and... Like finch out! Okay, 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 I can catch you! You're not that fast! Where'd she go? There she is! On the roofs? Okay, this is actually really cool! <laughs> She's killing the clip! Get back here! I know what you did! Uh, uh, uh. All right, where did she go? Uh, where's she at? Mm, ow! Ow! Who's that for? I knew it was you. I shouldn't have expected anything else from a silver goon. Fess up now, and things won't have to get ugly. I have no clue what you're on about. Playing dumb isn't going to save you, criminal. What, criminal? I'm so lost right now. I should have noticed sooner. All day, those merchants have been complaining about being short on change when I came for their pensions. By the tenth time hearing it, I decided to check my own bag. And lo and behold, I was light too. You nicked the coin off me when we bumped into each other in the square. You dirty little thief. What the... Wait a second. Didn't I bump into someone else at the same time? Oh, Sable. Of course. Just what are you muttering about? Hmm? I'm innocent! I'm not a crook! The real thief is... Save it! I'm not letting you talk your way out of this one. But This is perfect. I was looking for an opportunity to put you in your place. In the name of Gold Star and the sanctity of Cloudreach, I hereby declare you an enemy of the city. To uphold the fiscal policies of Gold Star in this city, I will repossess Gold Star's property by force. In other words, you're gonna regret the day you crossed me, loser. <sighs> Shades don't have Eidolons, according to Silver. So if it's a fight she wants... Shay, can we destroy this one? It's like you read my mind! Of course we can! Put this shape down like the dog she is. If it's a fight you want, it's a fight you'll get! You're going down. Brace yourself, coward. Here I come! <laughs> you know, I was kind of wondering what it'd be like to fight you. I was almost itching for it. I'm excited I got the chance! <laughs> Give it your best, cause I won't hold back! Ugh. She's fast. Really fast. Even faster than Sable. Alright! I can dig it! How does your speed match my strength? Ugh. It's like she's holding needles. She stabs at light speed. Ugh. Who cares about needles? I have a giant sword! Ugh! Ugh! Oh, she's too fast to hit with one of those. Ugh! It's actually really frustrating. Whoa! Ugh! You know, I like the way you fight almost. I would be impressed if you weren't so pathetic. <laughs> Had enough yet? 
You're really starting to tick me off, Twerp. You really don't know who you're dealing with, do you? How about I show you? What's happening? I'll show you the real power of the Abyss, fool. I hope you find the taste of defeat disgusting. All shades of dark spirits? Duh, why do you think we're fighting her? Hurry up and win, you're making us look bad. I'm trying! <laughs> Say good night, loser. No, you don't. If you want to hurt my fellow guildmate, you'll have to go through me. Oh, come on. You're seriously defending this insect? Huh? You and your pathetic guild. Why do you treat it like the real thing? It will never be recognized by the Holons, no matter what you do. Just stop this pathetic mockery of our institutions and live your lives as the worthless bottom feeders you all are! Not recognized by the Holons? Finn, what is she talking about? <sighs> Silver Moon... It's never been a respected guild. I told you we were at the bottom, but I didn't want to tell you just how far that was. Every guild follows a Holon's banner. Except for us. We're bannerless. An unofficial guild, by technical terms. Frauds is what you are. The whole lot of you are a bunch of posers playing pretend. No one in your group is cut out to serve the Holons, so why act like you belong in society? Go farm crops for the rest of your lives, or run prison cells for all I care. At least then you'd stop making the rest of us look bad. Will you shut up? Official this, hold on that, I don't care! Silver Moon being an actual guild or not doesn't matter. We were the ones who found the real culprit today, not you. And if that doesn't count for something, I don't know what does. Real culprit? Drop the act and- Sable stole your money! She and her goons have been robbing the marketplace all day, I bet. I was chasing her before you stopped me. I would have solved your problem myself if you didn't get in my way. So, who cares if my guild isn't a real one? We're still better than you. Bold claim with no evidence to back it up. I've never seen this Sable. She's right there. Ah, oh, crap. G get back here, thief! You. Don't think for a second that this changes anything. Maybe you and your stupid guild weren't the real problems today. Sooner or later, you're going to slip up. And when you do, I will relish in destroying your lame guild once and for all. I still hate her. She stinks. I hate to say it, but I'm starting to see your point. Sooner or later, you're going to slip up. And when you do, I will relish in destroying your lame guild once and for all. Oh boy, I hope we can make that payment this month. We won't, but that's probably good news for her. She says it'll give her the excuse she needs to shut us down, didn't she? The guild might be in trouble. I don't think we have enough money. Uh, do... Do we still have enough money for food? You could 
think that I'm a freak when I'm talking to myself. But it's like I was too weak to be someone else. You could think that I'm a creep when I'm singing all along. But it's like I couldn't see straight on my own. When I fall, it start again. And when I feel like I'm just dead, and when I call, it comes again. And now I see it's in my head. Yeah. There's something that saved me all the time in my self. It appears when I am breaking down, like a whisper in my head. I'm from I don't know where, like a whisper in my head. When I've got something to share.